Okay, so I seen people having problems with their low-end devices, like let's say like mine, which is Nvidia, Nvidia GT 710, which actually has problems with this game when we launch it. I was stuck literally in the front desk, and that that was it. I couldn't do anything. It said zero frames per second, and I did have everything on everything enabled it was an open gl everything was fine but no i was stuck in the front desk it just so happens that there's a workaround around this if you're stuck there too all you have to do is go to emulation configure once we're there we're gonna disable multi-core we're gonna and tap ok we're gonna open the game and we're gonna be back in the front desk and now we can actually move even if it's 50 frames per second 10 whatever you're getting try to survive through it and once luigi is in his room we will see an icon on the bottom right that says saving when that finishes it means the game is safe now we can close yuzu and then after we close it we go back to emulation configure we're gonna turn on multi-core and tap ok and once we do that, we're going to open the game. And now we're in Luigi's hotel room. But now we can move fast. And it's supposed to say 30 frames per second. Since we're there, now we can actually play and enjoy the game. What we're going to need also for this is that we're totally going to need this mod. The, dyna the Disable Dynamic Resolution. So that we don't get very big slowdowns. That will be this one. I'm gonna leave the, the link on the description. It's from the Yuzu page as the Switch mods. We're gonna need this one. And if you're in AMD or using Volca, Vulkan API, you're gonna need this one. Apparently, it disables the game's flashlight lens flare, which is a workaround for flickering on the Vulkan API. I've seen it on some games, like there's flickering. So this one has a fix for it. The 60 frames per second doesn't work for me, but you could still try it and see if it works. For me, I enabled it and I only saw 32 and 31 frames per second. And it was just making the game be like fast and slow at the same time. So I, I disabled it and left it as it is. The one we truly need is this one. If you're just using it OpenGL, just this one. And if you're not using OpenGL, you still need it. But if you're using AMD, you need both of these. After you got those, you're gonna go to, this is the game, right click, open mod data location, and you're gonna put the mods here. Make sure that it says disable and that I have a resolution. And then the next thing says XAFS. And you know, you already did it right. The other one is the 60 frames per second. Here it is if you're gonna use it. And if you're gonna use the lens one, then you say lens and then this. For safe fix, this was actually a very old mod. We don't need that. And once we have that enabled, we're gonna go to properties, make sure that it is enabled and check mark and tap OK. On general, these are the settings that I have for this game right now is limit speed percentage and this multi-core. We're gonna use this, remember, after Luigi has saved his file in his hotel room. Before that, no. System, leave it as it is. CPU, auto. Graphics, OpenGL or Vulkan. And if it's, if it's OpenGL, just like this. If it's AMD, just like this. But in here, OpenGL needs this. Use a synchronous shaders building. That's for, that's for that's for AMD and this is for OpenGL. Don't use both at the same time. If you're using AMD, you can't use this. And if you're using OpenGL, you're gonna use this one. This one always will be marked no matter what you're using. Accuracy level, I left it in normal. If you're having very slow, say you're having like 15 and that's all you get, you can try putting this on high to see if it works. And then in audio, you can leave it as it is. Make sure that you don't enable this. Um, I can't seem to be able to launch the game at all with the update. So don't use the update for now. 
and the DLC doesn't work either. So I don't know why that's happening and I have played for some, I have around five floors already and no, I can't put the update in it. I can't enable and DLC either and the 60 frames per second is not being read. After that, you can just launch the game. Just make sure not to forget what I explained earlier. No multicore until you get to Lee's hotel room. Then you can get multicore back. I do not have it on dock mode and says CPU normal and OpenGL and these are the frames as the lows. Can I get in the game? I played it for three hours and I didn't have any problems so we can see that it's totally okay. It also might take like the first time you launch this game, it will take some time in the launching screen. That's fine. E either way, you just wait. If you see that it did froze, like it says not responding above here, then yeah, it did froze. But if it's still saying launching and it's trying to do some, like if the frame rings are moving and all that, no, don't, don't change it. Just wait for it. And now we're here and you can see that I'm getting 28 and 29 frames per second, which are good. I don't notice anything bad. See, character is moving pretty fast. Oh, I do see, this is one of the glitches I have been seeing. I walked there, that's my shadow and now it's marked on the floor. keep marking it all around the floor where there's lightning like I think like, those lights are hitting me so yeah I'm forming a shadow right now let's go into the hotel like just not the basement see it will always show that saving because it has auto save it's open I also played this on multiplayer and I was not getting less frames or anything so you can play this on multiplayer and not actually have any slowdowns. I will show a video of that later. But for now we're just gonna focus on how good it's running. And as we can see it's not, it looks great, it doesn't look blurry or anything. It's all fine, let's go to the elevator. And as you can see, the elevator is fine. You will do see that those frames go down and everything, but just ignore them and it's very playable. This is the floor that's problematic. It's the first floor. That's the one that when you're there, yeah, no multicore while you're for the first time saving. Then after when I had to go back because of the story wanted you to go back here and I I was like wait is it gonna slow it down? No it didn't. It's the first time only. Then you can just go back here and it will not slow down. We can just go back here right now. The elevator does make you wait. So it's not that the game froze or anything. 
the elevator is really imitating a real elevator. Here we are in the floor that was very slow the first time we opened it. Now we don't have that problem. We're walking and it's all fine now. can change floor again I think one that's very heavy so far that I have encountered was the one that has like a floor of cards I think it is let's see this one the hotel shops that one I noticed that my frames were a little low but it was still playable and you do clear that floor very quickly, so I didn't mind it that much. See, now my frames are... See how affected they truly are gonna get when they see the shop. I'm getting a tap by ghost probably because I went back to a floor I already cleared but the frames are not lowering as they did the first time I got here probably because I now I have more shaders but oh look there see 18 and 19 frames per second which I'm not seeing in the gameplay but sure it, it lowered what I had here the first time I got here without any shaders or anything it was 14 frames per second and 15 frames per second now it's way better. And as you can see, they're fighting me. There's ghosts around me, and no one, there's no slowdowns. Let's get out of here before they kill me. If you have any questions about how to run this game, just leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.